So, um, today I want to teach you about um, crutches. Okay. So, um, we're going to go over how to measure them, um, how to measure them onto a patient that's lying on, on their bed, and then um, how to use a different point. Okay? All right. So, um, first, if you're just measuring them, like, to yourself, um, you, or to someone who can stand by themselves, um, you want to have them about six inches away from your feet at a 45 degree angle, just like this. And you want to measure the length, the overall length first. And what you want to do is make sure that this pad here is about two to three fingers under your armpit. So okay. these, you can tell, are a little short for me, but these are the only ones we could get right now. Okay. <laughs> so other, otherwise, I would um, use the adjustment here to make it taller. Okay. So once you have that measured, you want to then um, measure this part right here, which should be at about wrist level. Okay. So as you can see, they're not perfect, but they're all right for these purposes. Um, if you do need to adjust them, you use these parts right here to slide them up and down. Okay? All right. And then um, a lot of crutches will have measurements here, so you can ask the patient how tall they are, and then that will get you a pretty good idea of um, where to put it. Another thing that you can do when uh, a patient is laying down, you can just kind of hold it up here to just get a general idea of where it should go. And then once they're standing up, you can re-measure <coughs> okay. and just adjust it accordingly. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So the first gait pattern we're going to go over is 2.8. So that's going to be when um, you move opposite points at the same time. So just like this. Okay. So what I just showed you was 2-point gait. So now 3-point gait is going to be when, um, for example, if a patient is not weight bearing. So uh, again, you want to make sure that the crutches are six feet away, or six, feet, six inches away mm -hmm. at about a 45 degree angle. That's going to be with all gates, okay? Okay, so um, the patient can step to the crutches initially, just like this. Once they get pretty skilled at that, they can go through um, for a longer step so they can move a little quicker. So that would look something like this. Okay. Okay. So um, next is going to be a four point gate. So this one's going to be a little slower, so you just want to make sure you tell the patient that they're going to be moving a little slower so they don't get impatient. So each point will be moving independently. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And then next is a swing two gait, which is going to be where um, both legs are kind of stuck together, moving at the same time. So, kind of look like this. And then there's also swing through which, okay, again, is going through the gate, or through the crutches, so a little faster. All right. But that takes, like, a little more practice, obviously. Um, when you're showing patients how to use them, you always want to make sure they're not leaning onto them. That can be really bad. It can um, damage some of the nerves that are up in that, um, in that armpit area. Um, so you always want to tell them that they're kind of squeezing it against their ribcage. It's going to be a little uncomfortable, but it's not going to be 